of AMC 10A 2017. Isaac, laureate of the Da Vinci Institute, a PhD granting university in South Africa. First scenario, three equals X plus two. Okay, now this is pretty easy. This means that X is equal to one and Y is less than or equal to three. Three equals X plus two. That means X equals one, which I'm gonna draw on this graph is this line. And Y must, uh, my minus four must be less than or equal to three, meaning Y is less than or equal to seven. So that can be expressed like this. So this is part of S. It's array with an endpoint of one comma seven. All right, second scenario. X plus two equals Y minus four. This one is a bit hard, but it's fine. Y equals X plus six meant. So let's draw that here. That would be something like this, no? All right, and that means the three is less than or equal to, we'll choose Y minus four here. Meaning that, well, three is also less than or equal to X plus two. So doing this for both of them, it doesn't yield much for Y, it means y is greater than or equal to 7. For, for x plus 2, that means that x is greater than or equal to 1. So, the portion of this graph where these two are true, x is greater than or equal to 1, and y is greater than or equal to 7, starts about here at 1, 7, and continues onward. So it's another way with endpoint one comma seven. And finally, y minus four equals three. That means that x plus two is less than or equal to three and is less than or equal to y minus four. All right. So for this one, we're going to well uh, know that this is simply the graph y equals 7, which is something like this. x plus 2 is less than or equal to 3, which means the region S is where x is less than or equal to 1. And that would be here. So, we finally found that the answer is three way arrays with a common endpoint 1, 7. Thank you everybody for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.